first of all uh, welcome in my channel and uh, today i'm going to tell you about my membership plan first of all uh, i will provide you dotnet core video tutorial dapper tutorial rest rest api tutorial angular uh, angular video tutorial uh, not only video tutorial i will uh, provide you complete source code okay and it's not only a simple video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial so each technology have minimum two projects so guys this is a project based courses in all technologies just 800 rupees and you focus that it's not only a technology it's a roadmap okay so that is the complete roadmap of dotnet core and that video tutorial is providing you a past deal for you okay so first of all i will provide you dotnet core and uh, video tutorial it's not only based uh, it's not only simple video tutorial again i repeat you a uh, project based video tutorial so i will cover it uh, all design patterns and uh, solid patterns and uh, architectural designs okay so uh, i will give you uh, clean architecture based projects okay so uh, that is dotnet core and uh, that dotnet core used entity framework core and sql server in further video i will use adio.net and the dapper and uh, just after that i will use blazor for as a front end and angular as a front end and the react as a front end uh, so use rest api so it's a based on project uh, okay and it's a road map so that we can cover all the topics of the full stack development so this is only 800 rupees i will uh, you will uh, you just pay me 800 rupees and get all video tutorials okay so uh, day by day and uh, if you are belong from other country just pay dollar 15 and it's only a one time fees that is again i repeat you one time fees just only pay 800 rupees and get the source code and complete video tutorials okay so how to get the deal just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number contact number is not necessary transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi id and uh, just add your transaction reference id uh, and after that uh, if you are belong from other country just use this my uh, paypal id and this is you can use this qr code also okay and submit the form after submit your form you will get a notification uh, via email and uh, start your uh, journey for the membership okay so uh, just find the link of this form in your video description box so must to check your video description box okay uh, hurry up guys because it's a limited time deal i will provide uh, i'm giving you okay so uh, hurry up guys so we all know that uh, here we have a presentation layer and in the presentation layer we have a controller like users controller uh, in a users controller we have three methods and three api methods you can say so the first one is the login and the second one is to register uh, okay so that is the login register and the get user by username so here we have a register method and in the register method i want to implement a media tar features okay and this media tar feature actually called a uh, command query i mean to say that cqrs pattern okay so the cqrs pattern i mean to say uh, that is a clean architecture with the cqrs pattern so this is my clean architecture layers that is app application domain infrastructure persistence and presentation layer so uh, inside your presentation layer that is the users controller and users controller call to the application layer that application layer work here so under the features uh, uh, directory you can just create a command query so just create commands so here we have a commands directory and under the features uh, directory just add a new uh, directory that is queries so under the commands directory just create a new class okay so here we have a users controller you know that similarly uh, we just uh, we will create uh, further um, uh, customer controller and the orders controller as well so uh, related data actually uh, just create directories under the users directory so here we have a users directory and under the users directory just create directory that is queries and the command okay so under the users directory we have commands and the queries 
Now, uh, in register method, we just called uh, the command square, uh, commands method. Okay. Now, create a new command for your register method. That is, create a new class. And the class name is, uh, I mean to say that I want to create a uh, record instead of the class. Why we create a record? Uh, just I explain you. Register user command. So here we have a register user command or CS file. So under the commands directory, we have a new uh, directory that is the register user command here. Okay. So instead of class, we just create a record. So also make it sealed record. And sealed record is uh, make it record instead of the class because record, you know, it's immutable type. So does not change after submit data okay so here i am going to add a string username and string email and string password okay and string confirm password So uh, here we have a public sealed record that is register user command and we all know that uh, it's a primary type constructor in, in a record uh, so just instead of curly brackets you can use parenthesis that is the type of record here okay so just use this one public shield record register user command now just after that so here we have a register user command and now uh, a register user command just create a new command handler register user command handler okay now just create a new command that is the i mean to say that command handler so register user user command handler dot cs file and we all know that uh, that is also make it sealed because it's not inherit from other user. And we all know that register command user handler as a input to use a register user command. Okay. But I want to create it a abstraction layer here. So under the abstraction, we just create a CQRS directory. That is the CQRS. And under the CQRS directory, we just create a new empty file here and that make it i command handler okay so just use i command handler dot cs okay so here we have a i command handler and it's a type of uh, two interface here that is input T command and we all know that uh, T command okay so uh, and output you can take it here and that I command handler is inherit from I request handler that is media tar, okay I I request handler I request handler I request handler is directly connected with the media tar. So you can use I request handler under your uh, register user handler here. But right now I am creating a new abstraction layer that is I command handler that is input is here that is T command. Uh, okay. And that is I request handler here. So here I am using I request handler and you know that I request handler is actually existing in media tab package. Okay. So uh, here we have installed media tab package use local version find and install latest version find. So I request handler, that I request handler is used uh, uh, command and the response. So what is the command is here? That is the input type that is T command. It's an input, but right now I'm using output type. And what is the output type is I result. Okay. I result is what? I result is actually existing in 
okay so you know that i command handler is used input t command and what is the input t command is here but later on it's a, a i request handler that is the input type and the output type so output type is what i result is uh, just a abstraction i result and under the i result we just have just create a new i result.cs file and i result actually give me a response okay so it will take it bool its success and that is get and next one is bool is failure and that is get okay and now the that is error and we just got a error and that is get okay. so error is what error is a class name so that is actually existing in so we all know that error is actually a uh, class under your domain directory and you know that uh, that is the domain and here we have a entities that is user and uh, we all know that uh, we just have a error uh, that is the class that is error is inherited by, by the iuketable interface so we need to add a in application layer we just add a reference so just right click on it add project reference and that is the domain layer first need to add domain layer interface here and as a dependency so just right click and here we have a shopping card dot domain dot errors okay so that is the result here we have a success marks is failure and error and also we just create a new uh, interface public uh, interface that is i result of output is a t uh, that is inherited by i result and we all know that uh, t is that is the value we just get from outside okay so it's also have you can just put it here that is the your output value that is the form of t okay okay now just after that we all know that is the user command that is register user command we have username email password and confirmed password register user command handler that is sealed class register user command handler and that is used i command handler okay so i command handler is inherited by i request handler that is available in media tab we just define it input and output that is the i result so result is is the form of uh, is success failure and the errors so i command handler is actually you know uh, i command handler is an input of t command that is i request of this type okay so just to define it where uh, where uh, the t command is i command oops that is that is i command i mean to say that is i command okay so uh, I command handler is a type of interface okay so I got an error message I command handler and that I command handler is a input type T command and what is the T command that is the media tab that is I request handler that is directly used in I request handler in your uh, you know re register user commands so here we have a register user command and register user command handler that is register user command handler is inherited by i request handler that is i request handler that is the t command and i result here i am going to use i command handler but we all know that uh, where t command is you know i command and what is the i command here i command is actually oops system.windows.input it's not a system.input.windows just I create a I command in abstraction layer in CQRS that is I command handler and I want to you add a I command first I command.cs so I command handler 
is a uh, I command you know it's a type of interface and that is inherited by the I request okay so I request is actually existing in media tag so just control D and media tag and I request is use I result you know I result is what I result is actually getting uh, success failure and error message so I command is used in I command and uh, we can use I command is the type of output okay so just copy and paste of I command is a type of generic for the out that is a T the response here and what is the T response is here and we all know that is used I request and I result type of T response that is T response and what is the T response is here here T response is inherited by I response okay so make it a class that is I response first so here I'm going to add I command is inherited by the I request that is the input type I mean to say that response type that is I result and what is the I result that is succeed failure and the error message or there is a no need to add here so make it comment also so there is a no need but if you want to take it a uh, you know that is I request uh, it's a type of response so you can make it I response in an abstraction layer so just copy that code and paste a new abstraction add a new empty file here i response.cs so make it a uh, public interface okay that's cool now i command handler is use i command okay now we all know that so serially one by one i will uh, consider it in the next video tutorial thank you very much for watching this video and in the next video tutorial i will implement it in the public class register user command handler is inherited by the i command handler that that one okay and here we have a input t command but i want to use input and output t command t response okay so you can say uh, that is okay just create it first so here we have a public interface i command handler that is uh, input t command and i'm going to add a t response also that is the t response where i am going to add i request handler that is t command and i result so i result is what that is the t response okay where t command uh, is i command of t response and or you can say where t command is i command of t response and where t response is what that is i response it's a type of interface that is i response okay so just implement this interface that is a register user handler uh, by the i command handler and where you can just put it t command and the t response okay